Hi you guys, it's Yvonne. I'm at Willowstone Marketplace. I wanted to check on my booth. Oh, and it's time to pay rent. It's Saturday, January the 30th. I did drop a video yesterday. I know it's been about a week, but I've been busy getting stuff ready for the booth, right? But anyways, thank you all for that watch that and that missed me, that was sweet. So I'm at Willowstone to pay my rent, check on my booth and see if possibly I can drop off a shelving unit a little early because mother nature's decided on my move-in day it's going to drop back down to below 30 and snow, right? <laughs> so, um, and, of and of course, we'll go do a little shopping while we're here, all right? So, I'll see you guys in a minute. Saturday afternoon, this place is hopping. The parking lot is so full, that's great. And they're lined up to buy stuff. There are vendors working. There are shoppers everywhere. This is going to be fun. So, before I even became a dealer here, or vendor, and started meeting other people, um, this was one of my favorite booths right here, this end cap, this lady with all the glass. And if you guys remember meeting Becky, who has a table in the back, a few months ago we met Becky. This is her mom's booth um, table, I guess, section. And she, I think she just got a booth too behind me somewhere we're gonna go find. But she always has the best glass stuff. That's new, that looks like Red Wing, possibly. Just going slow, letting you guys look. Let's go around to the other side. She's got both sides. I have to check the turtle for all my turtle lovers. It's only $12. Hundred and forty nine stone bear with bird. That's teak. Just letting you guys look real quick. <gasps> That's a new piece, sis. Can't quite make it out. I'll have to put the camera down. I'll tell you in a minute. I have a paperweight collection, but it started in the 90s, and so now I'm down to just like ones that are more high-end and signed. Hang on, we'll put the camera down and I'll see what that says. Okay, I'm not sure, but I think it says Caithness, C-A-I-T-H-N-E-S-S. -S. I've got some glass vases by them. And this is new and cool. It's real thin, delicate, blown glass, that owl. I think it was $35. That's a pretty paperweight. That one's not, doesn't say it's signed, but wow. No, it's not signed, but wow. That's something like that I would get at a good price for my collection, even though it's not signed. King's Corner. Okay. All right, let's move on. So I'm back at Citywide. You can see I'm in the back of it though. It was pretty busy back here. So I just kind of went around the perimeter for a moment and then maybe as it thins out, it just comes in waves, people come in waves. But anyways, this booth back here, I wanted to show you guys um, if you needed the mannequin. These look like they came out of a nice store. They're glossy white. Now they are the more higher end fixtures. So how much are they? A hundred dollars a piece. And unlike my plastic one that I bought from eBay, you know, these are a little bit heavier, not too heavy, but they have, you know, the more commercial arms. But you could still make those magnetic like I did with mine. And you can see that video on how I did that because without it being magnetic, you just hardly won't use them. But these are really nice. So just letting you know, there's six of them for $100. So 
So now we're at Becky's table. Local person you guys have met. We've talked here to her. Let's see what she added new because she likes to get things in and out. So her prices are always good. Three dollars, two dollars for that one. Just drop down a little glass hot pepper. I thought I saw something. Yeah, <laughs> what, did, what did she find here? Wooden. Looks like a catfish. Only four dollars. Oh my goodness. That's cool. It's about 12 inches size of a ruler. Catfish. <laughs> that would be a great cabin piece for only four dollars. Okay, let's see what else she has. Again, this is Becky's area. Her mom is the one that has that glass on the end cap that I showed. And, um, what was I going to say? Okay, never mind. She just always has some good prices. Okay, let's see how much these cows are. Salt and pepper shakers, $8. Oh my goodness. Those are adorable. I was so tempted with this black set that she had, but it looks like she sold most of it. There was a big picture too. It was like, um, kind of like English hobnail. Let's see what that, let's see what this is. Ooh, that's heavy. $12, one bookend, it's a Viking. $12. I might get that for myself. I moved some things around for a minute so we could look at this. $24. It's very big. It's about the size of a dinner plate. That's really nice. That seems like a fair price. I'm not sure if I would call it Murano or not. I'm not sure whose it is, and I guess Becky didn't know either. But that's really nice, Becky. $24 is a good price for someone. $5 for the frosted cat. And there's a swan in there, a deer, a teddy bear, a butterfly. Oh my goodness, let's see what else she's got. <laughs> Some little birds. Let me get it out. Five dollars. She has good prices, you guys. When you want to pick up some stuff just for yourself, definitely check out Becky's booth. Okay? Hmm. All right. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to see the snail. 70s looking. Oh, Hager USA, $8. Look at that. I've been finding a lot of Hager. If you saw that video yesterday, I've been finding a lot of different types of Hager that I really wasn't familiar with. That's cute. Okay, you guys, let's move on. Anyways, hi, Becky. We were here. Okay, just as I was leaving Becky's booth, I'm going to move on. I spotted something. Look at that large, it's about 22 inches ceramic planter or trash can. 
very 60s, 70s, huh? Oh my goodness. It is, I think, I, I think it said $45, you guys. Oh, and this, it's uh, the owls on the back, too. Front and back. Oh, that's fabulous. Umbrella stand. Wait a minute. It won't focus. Sorry. There it goes. Umbrella stand. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Awesome, Becky. I'm going to push it back a little bit so people don't hit it with their car. It's like chalkware. Okay, so. And this person looks new across from Becky. Some stretch glass. Oh, that's, let me see this. What is that? Nice. It is signed. I can't quite read it. I should try to figure out whose that is. That seems really nice for only $7.99. Okay, just checking on one of my other favorite booths. You guys have been in here with me before. And a couple new pieces. This is really nice. I believe it's, yeah, he says Mexico, nickel silver, so. But it's nice. Yeah. $49. Just showing you because it's cool. It's more than I would want to pay, you know, but I also found this. I actually have something out to Jocelyn and a couple other people. I think I'm going to get this. I wasn't sure because I kept putting in Murano Glass Mermaid and I had to verify that sticker if that was a good enough sticker. And a couple of websites say yes, that's a um, Murano Toso type label and it's fine. And it's not a mermaid, it's a dancer. <laughs> so, I'm going to check her over one more time. He wants $40, so it's a little bit of an investment for me. Uh -huh. But I think I will get that. Let me set it up so you can see. It was setting here. So, let's take a chance on her. Okay, so you guys remember this, the last visit we had a few weeks ago? Hang on, this will jog your memory. So, guess what? Now she's having 50% off everything. So you know what's fixing to happen. So now it'll only be nine dollars. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad I waited. So now I'm going to add that to my panther collection. So now it'll only be nine dollars. And I'm pretty sure this is authentic. So I'm going to pay up the 40 bucks. I think I can sell it for around 120 maybe even a little more. I have checked it over so diligently, over and over, held it up to the light to make sure there was nothing wrong with it before I invest that kind of money. Well, I'm almost done here. We're going to look at the real jewelry counter at the end, but I'm just taking a peek. <laughs> Those are my two showcases right there, the ones with the open, open doors. <laughs> I sold a few more things. So, um, I got a thumbs up from Jocelyn, myself, and someone else that this will be fine for $40. All right, um, didn't find any shelf units for sale. That's all right. I'll keep hitting the thrift stores. I still got about less than a week. Anyways, we're headed up to the front. I know this is shaky, but this is one place I've never shown you guys. This jewelry booth. Classic fine jewelry, purveyors of gold and gems. They buy and sell. I'm suspecting they have a store somewhere. It's always 60% off. It's like being in a real jeweler's. I've never really shown it because, you know, it's kind of hard in showcases. And 
sometimes prices show and sometimes they don't. But I love that amethyst. I love that amethyst set. Yeah, see, this is why I don't show the jewelry here. It's hard, you guys. It's hard. Oh, well, for those visiting or those local, just know it's here. Pretty decent prices, 60% off. And there's Robert. He actually sits in his booth all the time and sells a ton of those cool shoes. I bought a pair from him. So, all right. So I'm going to check out getting lots more tags because I've got so much merchandise to tag. Pick up my checks, pay for this stuff, and go to the grocery store. I hope you guys had a little bit of fun. Wasn't the most epic tri trip, but I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Okay, an add-on. Now today's Sunday, the very next day, and I'm hitting all of those thrift stores again because I still need um, shelf units. <laughs> Some shelf units. So, uh, I didn't film. I want to say I did run into a YouTube viewer, um, Adventures of Kiss, so that was fun. We chatted for a while. But today was also the switch over on colors, so some things I've been watching were now on sale and I bought them. Uh, I'll show you guys more when they go into the booth, but there's just a little look. I've been watching and watching this, and so now today it was finally on sale. And this is a Hager vase so I got it for 350 it's a newer one the big bowl was gone that I wanted the other day but I found a smaller one and it's in better shape and it was um, a third off this is an emoji now I don't buy a lot of this because it's not worth a whole lot but this is quite a big one and it was only 399 and someone wanted that vase so it was still here so yeah I got that for her just some cute stuff and then this awesome brass umbrella stand oh and a vintage bracelet look this is a cute little vintage bracelet yeah i'll show you guys more later in the booth i did stop at the arc too and i just picked up some really cool boho looking sweaters all right get this in the trunk and i'm going to another one <laughs> it's such a nice day out i'll talk to you guys later